April 22nd. It's the first day that the road to Many Glacier is open, so we thought we'd come on in. We drove in uh, to Many Glacier Day, first day they opened the road, and parked back in the main parking lot. We're actually walking into the trailhead of Iceberg Lake, but I think what we're gonna do is attempt to snowshoe over to Fisher Cap Lake, at least for our first uh, little jaunt out today. Arriving at uh, Fisher Cap Lake. So we're hiking up the uh, north side of Fisher Cap Lake and while the road may be open to Many Glacier, winter has not left the Many Glacier Valley. There are no more snowshoe tracks, however, just some backcountry ski tracks at this point as we venture further. Now we are officially the only ones, Kim's busting trail to Red Rock Lake. No one has been in here yet this year. We are approaching uh, Red Rock Lake. Looks like we're the first people here in 2023 because there's no other backcountry ski marks or snowshoe tracks. This is uh, Red Rock Lake, April 
2023, Earth Day. So this is uh, Red Rock Lake. This is uh, Mount Grinnell, 8,812 feet. And then over here, uh, shrouded by the clouds, that is Swift Current Lookout uh, that you can't quite see the peak of through the clouds. Just completed a little less than four mile snowshoe. Um, started at Many Glacier at the Swift Current Pass Trail. We actually went to uh, Fisher Cap Lake and then went past to what was the other lake? Red Rock. Red Rock Lake. Um, and for part of it, we were the first folks in there. They just opened the road in Many Glacier yesterday. So uh, it's been kind of nice to get in here and be one of the first ones to get into the lake. 